Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby. We are on module two, lesson nine. If you're looking in the book, this is S44. We are going to be taking very large looking mixed numbers, getting them to have the common denominator, and then switching it over into decimals also. So here we go. We have Samantha and her friend are going on a road trip, 245 and 750 miles long. They have already driven 128 and 53 hundredths. How much farther do they have to drive? Well, how much farther tells us we are going to be subtracting. So we have 245 and 750 fiftieths, and we have 128 and 53 hundredths. Okay. So right away, I'm not 100% in love with fractions. As, as a math teacher, just in my mind, decimals look like money. Money's easy to deal with. So I like to convert this. So this right here can be converted to 128 and 53 hundredths because tenths hundredths. That's how that looks. And then 50 can become a 100 by multiplying by 2. And whatever we do to the denominator, we do the numerator. So our new numerator would be 14. 7 times 2 is 14. So we can transfer that to 245 and 14 hundredths. And now we are ready for a subtraction problem. 4 takes away 3, gives you 1. 1 can't take 5, so we borrow. Notice how I'm borrowing one at a time. That's how you truly should be doing this. You shouldn't be going all the way over here and start hacking these numbers off. We should go baby steps at a time so you don't make any error. 11 minus 5 is 6. Decimal point. 4 cannot take 8. 4 becomes a 3. 4 becomes 14. 8 goes into the 14. We have six extra little pieces. Three takes two by one and two takes one by one. Our final answer here is 116 and 61 hundredths. Looking at the next problem. All right. Ooh, love it. Hundredth, tenth. We both have decimals for those. So Ben needs to replace two sides of his fence. One side's this long, the other side's that long. How much fence does Ben need to buy. He's only replacing two sides. He needs this and this. That means how much fence does he need to buy? He needs both. Both means add. So we have 367 and tenths, hundredths, nine hundredths. So we can put a zero in that place. 329, three tenths. Tenths is there. We put the three there. What could we put in this empty space just so it's level? That is correct. We can put a zero. All right. So we are adding 9 plus 0 is 9. 3 plus 0 is 3. 9 plus 7 is 16. Carry the 1. 6, 7, 8, 9. And 3 plus 3 is a big 6. That is your final answer. Remember, decimal placements, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So I'll write that so you can get an idea. Tenths. Hundreds, thousands. THS on the ends of those. This side's the whole number side. And from the decimal point. And the decimal means and. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby, and I love math. And at this point of the year, Diet Coke too.